Let's get to some picks, shall we? Um, if you've listened to us for a while, you know that we do this one pick against the spread, one over under, one player prop. Uh, Samter, what are the records, sir? This is crazy to me because, honestly, I went away and Maggie had like a 47-game lead over <laughs> Perloff. And I come back and I didn't even notice. It is now 30-24. and 24. Maggie and Perloff heading into the playoffs are tied after 18 weeks of gambling and betting, you guys are tied. How did yep. this happen, Maggie? What happened while I was gone? I don't know. I started betting on the Jets like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> was I your lucky rabbit's foot? I think you might have been the lucky charm, so I'm glad you're back. Uh, and I can't believe the height of drama. Perloff and I are tied 30-24 to 24 heading into Wild Card Weekend. This is crazy. Um, all right, Perloff, you want to start us off? Yeah, so I've been defending Brandon Staley all show long and i can't wait to bet against him uh really my reasoning is not because he's i think he's a bad coach i just think jacksonville is at home i think their defense is really playing well uh yeah i just don't see brandon staley winning this playoff game and i'm sorry i'm not saying that that means he should be done in la i i just think that this team is pretty flawed every game no matter who they're playing is close and you get a couple points two and a half points with the jags i'm confidently taking that yeah, that's a good one. That was going to be one of mine, but I'm going to go in a different direction. Uh, but I like it. I'm going to take, and this is a team I have not been betting on all season long, but I'm going to take the Giants plus the three. I, I, I feel like all the data is telling me that the Vikings are not actually a good team. And despite the fact that they won 13 games this year, betting on Daniel Jones, even though he's been better this year, having lived through his career in new york through the first four years uh you know I'm, I'm hesitant because he's one turnover waiting to happen but to be honest he's been pretty good so giants plus three and hoping that Kayvon thibodeau and the pass rush can get home on cousins yeah i love it i'm totally i'm in the same side on that game i'm actually going to go to that game for my over under so i gotta be honest i've been staring at this bills dolphins uh Point total all day long, 43 mm -hmm. and a half. And I look at Skylar Thompson and I say, the, the Dolphins can't score any points. But the Bills are known to put a beat down on people in the first round. So I'm going to stay away from that. Now, the Giants and the Vikings. The Vikings' pass defense is terrible. The Giants obviously had success. Last time they played, they got over 50 points. I'm going under 48. And I think that mm. both teams really tighten it up uh, and play conservative football here. I don't think Kirk Cousins is just – I don't think the Vikings want Kirk Cousins dropping back too many times and facing that Kayvon Thibodeau rush that you mentioned. Yep. So I, I, I think the Vikings try and slow it down a little more than they usually do. And, you know, the Giants, will be, they'll be happy to play possession football. I don't know. I don't feel great about this one. But I look at that number 48, and I just – I don't know. I feel like both teams are really going to be a little different than we saw during the season. I think they're going to be conservative. All right. Interesting. I'm also going to go with an under, um, and this one is going to be with Cincinnati and Baltimore. And this is really just because Baltimore can't score. Nope. You know, the, the offense has just been anemic. Now, maybe they get a couple turnovers, maybe, and the defense can put them in some good positions. But... To be honest, I, I, I don't see how Baltimore is going to be able to hang here with Cincinnati. Now, it's a low number, 40 and a half. So there's not a lot of room for error for me here. But I got to take the under just because I don't see how Baltimore does their part to get to this over. Totally agree with you. Uh, I mean, listen, we watched that last game. It was it was terrible, that, that Ravens-Bengals game in Week 18. Totally agree with you. Okay, my player prop. A bit of a contradiction here because I do think the Giants are going to pass a lot, a lot more than usual against the Vikings because that's the weakness of the Vikings defense. So I'm looking at the pass catchers and the one that jumped out of me, Richie James has been kind of hot, but Saquon Barkley's at three and a half catches. And I looked at his game log. Mm. He does not always get to three catches. There are games where he is not in the passing game at all, but it's a playoffs. You got to go to Saquon early and often. And I know, I don't know what his future is there, but I don't think the Giants hold back with his usage, even for a second. So I'm going to take three and a half catches for Saquon Barkley. Wow, you and I are going to be playing the same game, but a different kind of prop here because I think uh, this is, again, these all have to be kitchen sink games for everybody because it's win or go home. I was bummed that I didn't do this prop last week, so this is a makeup prop that I'm going with. Daniel Jones over 40 and a half rushing yards. I mean, 
Oh, yeah. I, I, Big you time. know, if they're winning, I think he runs. If they're losing, I think he runs. Like, either way, designed runs is part of the Daniel Jones experience. And for him to get to 40 and a half, it's not an insignificant number. Although the last week he had, like, what, like 90 or something? Or two weeks ago. He didn't play last week. Two weeks ago. Uh, they got to empty the clip, though, with him yep. if they want to win this game. It's It might not be sustainable for the future, but as you said about Barkley, who cares about the future? you got to win this football game. So Daniel Jones over 40 and a half rushing. I love that. Because also, if you get in the Vikings secondary, they're not tackling anybody. So he's going to do really well in that position. But I don't know. I I went a little against my own logic and picked the under in that game. Uh, Yeah, I, I really like Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley and the Giants in this game.